now. You may after death utterly refuse to believe that you are dead and continue to focus your emotional energy toward those you have known in life. If you have been obsessed with a particular project, for example, you may try to complete it. There are always guys to help you understand your situation, but you may be so engrossed that you pay them no heed. Now, I will cover the subject of ghosts separately rather than in this chapter. Suffice it to say that large fields of emotional focus towards physical reality can hold you back from further development. When consciousness leaves the body and is away for some time, then the connection is, of course, broken. In out-of-body states, the connection still holds. Now it is possible for an individual who has died to completely misinterpret the experience and attempt to re-enter the corpse. This can happen when the personality identified himself almost exclusively with the physical image. It is not common, but nevertheless, under various circumstances, such individuals will attempt to reactivate the physical mechanism, becoming more panic-stricken when they discover the body's condition. Some, for example, have wept over the corpse long after the mourners have left, not realizing that they themselves are completely whole. Or, for example, the body may have been ill or the organs beyond repair. They're like a dog worrying a bone. Those who have not identified their consciousness with their body completely find it much easier to leave it. Those who have hated the body find, strangely enough, that immediately after death, they're quite drawn to it. All of these circumstances then may or may not occur according to the individual involved. However, after leaving the physical body, you will immediately find yourself in another. This is the same kind of form in which you travel in out-of-body projections. And again, let me remind my readers that each of them leaves the body for some time each night during sleep. This form will seem physical, it will not be seen by those still in the physical body, however, generally speaking. It can do anything that you do now in your dreams. Therefore, it flies, goes through solid objects, and is moved directly by your will, taking you, say, from one location to another, as you may think of these locations. If you wonder what Un Sally is doing in, say, Poughkeepsie, New York, then you will find yourself there. However, you cannot, as a rule, manipulate physical objects. You cannot pick up a lamp or throw a dish. This body is yours instantly, but it is not the only form that you will have. For that matter, this image is not a new one. It is interwound with your physical body now, but you do not perceive it. Following death, it will be the only body you are aware of for some time. 